Hi, this is George from iCam, and today we'll be looking at how you can incorporate a number of CAN drilling cycles into your post processor thanks to CAM Post Quest. Let's get started. For this example, we'll be using a post configured for a 5 axis mill with the Fanuc 31i control. Let's look at how our post is currently handling drilling cycles. As you can see, there are G68.2 origin transformations generated by the post before each cycle. Each of these transformations is then cancelled by a G69 code prior to acquiring a new orientation. You'll also notice that the format of the G81 drilling cycle parameters mean that after each hole is drilled, the tool will retract to the cycle R plane. The problem here being, if multiple holes are drilled within the same cycle, the tool traverses from one hole to the next will also be done at the R plane, which is not ideal in all situations. Let's see how we can improve this. We'll open Automated Canned Cycles and General Drill Cycle Information. If we open the Parameters tab, we have a number of options on how to handle canned cycles. We're looking to select our retract plane. By choosing the selectable option, our post will now output a G98 code if the tool must retract to the initial plane or a G99 code if the tool must retract to the R plane. Let's see how our new output looks. As you can see, the post is now differentiating between initial plane retracts and R plane retracts making for more efficient drilling operations. Although this post was designed for a Fanuc type cycle, CAM Post Quest also has complete support for Heidenheim can cycles as well as Siemens can cycles.